Have you ever realized that when you take the D initial and put it in front of the title of the story, suddenly it becomes a new word? Coincidence, you might say now. But when you take the same D initial and put it in front of any slobby that otherwise makes no fucking sense, it suddenly becomes another English word. Denies. Yeah, I know. Blew my mind as well. So now that I know that you're gonna watch this video till the end, let me tell you the crazy story of how the Japanese One Piece community convinced me that the ancient kingdom was part of Jaya, that it's now at the bottom of the sea under Ennis Lobby, and that Skypea and Dressrosa tell us what happened during the Void Century. At the end of all this, I promise you, you will laugh as maniacally as I did when I found out just how in your face this all might have been all along. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited to share this. One Piece wa... In chapter 253, we learned that Upper Yard and Skypea actually used to be part of the island Jaya down on sea level. <laughs> when you put both maps together, they form one giant skull-shaped island with modern Jaya being the teeth and the legendary golden city of Shandora as the right eye. Oh, yeah, and there is a giant perfectly round gaping hole where the other eye should have been. Why is no one mentioning this? There is an ancient city in the one eye and the second eye looks like someone ripped out the one piece of the island that made the second eye of the skull. Wait, one piece? Are you telling me? Yes, this video is also about the true nature of the One Piece and why Skypea was actually not the least important but the most important arc in the story. And we all didn't see it.